Down the line, falls over the back here. Uh, Hoff is about running, kicks ball along into the forward line. No one home for uh, East Geelong. That, that cruel bounce of the ball. Picked up, taken handball out the side here. East Geelong got plenty of numbers around the ball here. Picked up by Zimmer. Zimmer on the left foot and kicks the first score for the day. It's a minor score to East Geelong. They go to one behind one point. Thompson yet to score. We've gone... Three and a half minutes, Morris Finance, first quarter. Pretty well, aren't they? Going in pretty hard, the boys. I don't know if they can keep that up all day, but good game so far. Donnie with the kicking duties now for yeah. the Thompson side. He goes short. We'll find his teammate out there in Kerslake. It's on the half-back line. Donnie, you run past for the handball. He uh, has a short his, his option now. Stats. He's going to be able to go back there again. So, uh, Donnie, you once again. Just inside the forward 50 or for defensive 50 goes long to Cam, but over the top through the hands of Sobey. Needs to bend over and pick it up. Will ball underneath him. He's in trouble here. The umpire He's says. He's going to ball it up, oh, but I tell is. you what. He uh, didn't want to get the ball out there. The umpire that way all day. We're happy. Would have, would have been holding the ball last week. Would have been yeah, would have. Probably 50 for being so slow getting off the ground. Ball from the contest comes out at, uh, now quickly. At ground level, picked up there, and it's uh, some work there by Billy Andrew. Got the handball outside, unfortunately, a bit too much on it, and it went over the band line. We'll have a throw in, which will take place just outside the Ford 50. I'll tell you what, Smithy, he's leading the stats in Victoria, Charlie Donahue. I think I know why now. I hope they're not doing an Alex Tagani and, and counting the kickouts. <laughs> So it's thrown back in by the umpire. Cam front position gets the ball down. Picked up Hamble. Missed uh, Beardsall as he went past. Thompson had one possession of it, but they've uh, turned the ball over again. Ball was picked up there by Bartell. He goes back on the left boot inside 50. Marcus take there by Maguire. So Thompson will change direction now and go across the ground. It's a kick over the top of Mowat. Unfortunately, uh, didn't hit the target there. Sam Lowe's wearing three, not two, so it's uh, picked up by Mowat on the half-back line. He goes back towards centre wing, coming up to meet the ball with Boyd. Can't uh, get down and pick the ball up. Got some assistance in there now, but ball is not coming out. Umpire, once again, will come in and have a ball up. Don't think it'll worry you, Smith. He's got the long sleeves on. The long boots. He usually has the white boots. He got the white boots on? Didn't see him. Yes, Sam, yes, he has. Sam, Sam, yes, he has. Uh, says, Sam Lowe does wear three. Crombie wears two. So, <laughs> so the ball... Is a tap back towards the boundary line. It's going to go over, and we will have a throw in which will take place far side of the ground. And that uh, ball, Josh Cam led in the race for it there. On centre wing. Sobe doing the ruck work. And as we said, Jordan Cam for the Thompson side. Cam goes up unopposed there, tapped it out the back. East Geelong through McIntyre, got the handball out to Low. Low on the right boot, goes into the half-forward line. Mark not taken. Selajan had his hand on it, but couldn't take clean possession. They win possession, East Geelong, and they go back towards the goal square. It's not a bad kick, and I tell you, it has gone through, and it was kicked, I think, by... That was Aussie Mel Melville. Was it? Yep. Austin Melville. Yep. Right -o. On the left. And that's 1-1 uh, one, one now to the East Geelong side. Thompson are yet to score. We have ticked over six minutes. Morris Finance, first quarter scoreboard. Well, before we run out of time, I was about to talk about young Austin Mole. He, he's really showed some promise the last couple of years. And to, I reckon it could be this year that he really stars. And I tell you what, even if he, that goal didn't go through, East Geelong had a bloke in the goal square that would have made it go through. On his own. Yep. So Sobey and Cam to go at it again in the middle. Up, Cam wins it up nice and high. It taps towards Smeds, who overruns it. Sobey picks it off the ground, kicks it long for East Geelong. Bouncing around. Salajan comes out and fists the ball 25 metres oh, back. He's holding, he's holding. be holding there. It hasn't been paid. Picked up by Osselbrook, who looks forward for a target. But, uh, oh, Mark has been paid at the back there. So, Mark by Darcy Kelly for Thompson, who switches the ball to the other side, looking for Jordan Cam. Doesn't make Good it. That's Mark. a fantastic grab there. Chopped it off beautifully. That was by um, by Flintoff. Flintoff goes in short. Another little short kick looking on here and finding uh, Lachlan Zimmer, who will go back for East Geelong now and have a shot from about 45 out in front of the uh, scoreboard here at the Thompson Rec Reserve. Jeez, that was a good mark, that. I'll tell you what. And uh, Look, I know he's a pretty good football, but he's even better cricketer. Okay. <laughs> Captain England. Who's that? Flintoff. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call him Benny, are we? Okay. So Zimmer's coming in now. Right foot kick. Goal up high. Does not move. East Geelong have their second. They move to 2 1 13. Trail Thompson, who are yet to score. So promising signs here for uh, East Geelong Grub. Yeah, they've kept the ball in, which is the main thing you do. And I've said every year you keep the ball in around that four line and you have a chance to kick a goal. So East need to get that ball out. And I don't think we'll be calling him Benny. We might call him Freddie, eh? Hey? Freddie, eh? Hey? 
We're going eight minutes here. Morris Finance, first quarter scoreboard, Thompson Rec Reserve. So... He's a big lad, the fella in the ruck, isn't he? So he, yeah. he, he, he Looking forward to him and Paddy Daly going head to head. Yeah. Wow. All right, so Jordan, Cam, they both seem to have a calf heavily strapped here, so uh, I don't know if we're rucking. Up she goes now. So he uses his strength, but Cam uses his height, reaches over the top, brings the ball down the ground. Scrappy play here, just bouncing around through the middle, picked up by McIntyre, swings one way the other, throws it on the left boot. This might be very fortuitous. Ball didn't quite carry. East along now, coming through, quick bounce. Got gone. There. Gone. No. That'll be gone. Dropping the ball, the second one. So, a couple of good tackles there. Lowndes probably had a chance to get rid of the ball, but chose to hold on. Mm, I thought he did, but I'm not sure it was a handball or not. Free, so. kick, free, free kick to Tom Major here. Uh, goes in short. <laughs> Didn't really gain much out of it, but it doesn't matter. Thompson driving forward into attack Plenty. here. Plenty. Plenty goes long, looking for... Oh, end up picking up the ball now is Finn Kerr. Can't quite grab it. The ball goes out of bounds. In the fourth pocket for Thompson, about 20 metres 20 meters around from the behind post. East along 2-1, leading Thompson yet to score. Morris Finance, first quarter. That's the other bloke I forgot, McIntyre. Week in, week out in the best place. Terrific player. And he's a captain this year too, so it is good. So the ball will be thrown back in now. Cam versus, uh, that was Boyd versus um, Sobey. The ball comes to the ground. Picked up now. East along, relieving kick coming out of full back. Might be coming back in, I think. Uh, good little pick up there. Hands out towards Plant. Couldn't quite, couldn't quite take the ball with him. The quick handball coming out wide here. Finding Jack Beardsall, who's worked way back to the back line. Gets another handball away. Thompson, you're not getting into Zach Plant's tackles, are you? No, no. He's, that's, that's part of his game. That he, he He's not as quick as you like, but he gets to the ball as quick as the others. He reads the ball well, and he reads where it's going. I think it was actually Maguire. So, but anyway, uh, ball goes in the air. Well, he's so the same. So he wins that one down. Looks like the ball's going to trickle out of bounds. Off the boot, right in front of where the past players are gathered and sponsors are gathered here at Thompson Rec Reserve. So, 10 minutes ticked over here. First quarter action, Morris Finance. Scoreboard ball to come back in. Jordan Cam versus Sobey again. Ball goes up now. Sobey wins this one over the back. No one in particular picked up by Monaghan. He gets feeds a handball out wide. Knocked, off, knocked forward. Thompson gaining ground here. Uh, it picked up there by, picked up there by uh, McLeish. Ball comes out again. Oh, we've got the tape number on the back of the jumper there. Uh, <laughs> picked up by McNamara. Well, that's another one to it, I reckon. There he goes. McNamara's got it again. He's brought the ground straight away. The ball comes out. The umpire said, righty yeah, give it to me. That's the old junior footy days, Dale. <laughs> you got the tape on your back. <laughs> Ball's in the air now. Cam uh, works his way to the front. Wins a tap down only as far as McIntyre, who bustles through. Gets the ball over to Beardsall. Beardsall sinks the ball in long. No one in particular. Strong hands there taken by Kelly. Kelly for Thompson. Drives him back forward again. Looking for Boyd up there. No, ball Good goes mark. over. It was Darcy Tripp. Actually ball went over his head. Cleared beautifully by uh, Dixon. He goes out wide. Got numbers out there. Running on the Ooh, ball. Out. Is McLaughlin. He can take his time now and find a target. Ah. That's a fantastic smaller by Maguire. Probably say the possible a definite 450 entry ball. Knocked across. Finds the line. What a brilliant effort by, uh, by Trav Maguire there. Uh, Grub. Yeah, look, I never ever had tape on my jumper. I, I can't believe you would do that. Why would you do that? What genius that you said? Well, I wore number thirty-three. <laughs> tape that on. <laughs> anyway, ball brought back in, wrapped up straight away. Well, <laughs> it's up. They used to have a one. We had a bloke with two hundred and fourteen at Belpo still one day. Yeah. Ball goes up in the air. Sobey wins that one quite convincingly. Picked up here, handball across, goes out to uh, to Andrew. Really, Andrew gets a handball forward again. Quick kick in the direction of. No, finding is uh, picked up by Sheedy. Goes in short, looking over the top here. No, it's gone uh, further over the back here. Races on between between Kelly and Hoff. Ball kicked out wide now. Picking up now is uh, Mowat. Gets a quick handball out to Donahue. Uh, too much on it. And it's trickled outside, outside the boundary line. 50 metres out. Next, a long goal. Didn't on. Kesey wore number 100 last year, didn't he? He yes. did, yes, he did. No, 300. No, they were 300 for their 300. Yeah. Game. There's a jumper for that game. Yeah, and yeah. that's what he wore, the 300. The 300. The yeah. 300, was it? Yeah. yeah. I knew it was a large one. Anyway, ball thrown back in by the umpire and a half forward line. Billy Andrews has it. He's tackled straight away. And the ball's not coming out there. Tackler was major. Yeah, they have a jumper made for their 300. So yes. Trav, Trav's wore it. Steve Mileto's wore it. And yeah. Alois Casino. But they only wore it once, though. Yeah, they only wore it once. Yeah. So ball again, ruck contest. Ball comes out of that now. Kicked up there by Bartel. Didn't travel too far. Was touched. Went over the boundary line. Have a throw in. Take place right on forward 50. Carlton Freo, that would have been out of bounds on the full. That's one in now, umpire with ball. Working his way down to the contest is Sobey. 
Darcy Troop looks like the cutout man for the Thompson side doing the ruck work. Gets him involved in the game. He takes the ball out of the contest. Does get boot the ball. Picked up by Plant. Handball's over the top. So they run from the half-back line now through Hennessy. Kicks into the uh, wing position. Mark, they could say that was an un... Uh, what is it? Un Unrealistic attempt. attempt. Yep, yep. Yeah, ball gets out the back. Thompson now with some numbers. Kerslake had it. Pushed it forward further afield. Board couldn't bend over and pick the ball up again. And it's going to be held up in their forward 50. Umpire says no prior opportunity there. Let's have it back. So that's better work there for the umpire. May nearly have been in the back, but she's a long way away. Yep, so Sabi pushes his way down there. Cam doing the ruck work. Looks like he's going to spell forward. Out and back to Monaghan. Monaghan got the handball out the back door. So they go towards centre wing. Mark is taken out there. Ball going to come straight back again. East Geelong with the mark. And Thompson. Thompson. Sorry, yeah, she's right there. Bit Thompson. Maguire with the big bright green boots. Yeah, now you can pick him a mile away. <laughs> Goes into the forward pocket. Kick up over the top. Mark is taken out there. And this is through McDonald of East Geelong. Got the right number this time. And club. At least you got the right club, man. Yeah, that's right. Goes <laughs> along the boundary line. Kick to Monaghan. Who's he from? Belmont? Just, yeah, he's playing next week. <laughs> He actually might be a Queenslip Monaghan, you never know. <laughs> so he kicks the ball now, goes in towards centre wing. Over the back, Mowat, get a little spoil. Ball hits the ground. Numbers with the uh, Thompson side. No, that's Ball's the man. Kerslake. Yes, he was tackled without the ball. He will win the free kick. So Kerslake from just inside the centre square. Goes short. Kick oh. wasn't great. Billy Andrews didn't make it any better. He dropped the ball. Handball's over the top to Monaghan. Monaghan further field. Mulville got the ball now. On the left boot. Goes long into the forward line. Sit out the back. Up and over. Can't take the mark. And I think that was uh, Lee. He can't uh, finish his work. Now there's a ball up to be taking place. As the umpire comes in pretty close to the scoreboard once again. Really good kick by Mulville. He knew his bloke was at the back and gave him every attempt to, to, to be able to take the mark. He just couldn't quite hold on to it. So I'm umpire now to throw the ball up. Far side, Zach Plant doing the ruck work. So, uh, obviously, a lack of height on the Thompson side, you would think. Good strong tackle again. Ball held up. Umpire in quickly. And we will have another ball up to take place. About 25 out from the goals. Go out there a quarter time, Smithy. See if they're short. Well, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that too much. Grubbed in here. <laughs> Maguire is tackled, taken over the boundary line. Umpire says, let's throw it back in and start play once more. Well, they're certainly not short of height, though. Look at the four blokes this side, yeah, from troop back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously one of them possibly should go into the ruck when the other big fella's not there. So the ruckman now to go at it. Lee taps the ball back to the front of the contest. East Geelong player tackled pretty quickly. Well, he said he had a prior opportunity, did he? Mm -hmm. And he won't. Maguire is the recipient of the free kick. And he will steady things down for the Thompson side. Decides to go across the face of goal. Dangerous. Mulville got his hand in there and couldn't take clean possession after he did. But uh, some nice defensive work there. Held it up for the extra long side. We'll give another opportunity in their forward line. Harris Monaghan coming straight into the say, Well done. So, looks like... Mitchell and Lee. Mitchell and, Mitchell and Lee. So, ball thrown back in now. Deep in East Geelong's attacking zone. Lee probably wins that one over the back. Falls to Donahue on the left foot. Quick kick out of trouble. Coming out here towards Sheedy. Wrapped up. Ball spills free now. Time for uh, for Mars to trip it across. But it's cut off beautifully there by Tom Major. So Major. Was it Major Tom? Grub. Yeah, Major goes play. long down the line, looking for and finding okay. Jordan Cam, who uh, made great position there. Now looking up further forward for Boyd. Boyd won out here with uh, with Simmons in front. That's Good a fantastic mark. grab by Boyd. Swings around quickly on the left foot, looking for and finding easily. Is that uh, Billy? Billy, Billy Smets. Yep, Billy Smets has gone to forward. Is what you're saying about Joel uh, Bennett doing? Billy Smets has gone to full forward. Well, I think he was predominantly forward last week. Okay. But he kicked a lot of points. <laughs> well, there's no, there's no excuses today, Grub, but she's a pretty still afternoon here at Thompson yeah. Rec. So Smets now comes in, kicking from about 30. Very deliberate. Goal umpire's pushed across. He's kicked a minor score, which is the first one for the Thompson Tigers. They move to one point, one behind. Trailing East Geelong 2 1 13. We've gone nearly 18 minutes. I thought you said Morris it was finance. easy. First, it is easy. Morris Finance first quarter, a scoreboard here at Thompson Rec Reserve. So, ball a bit brought back in now. Targets out wide. He's end up going straight in the middle. This could uh, not come off. Brought to the ground by Kelly. Diving on top of the ball there was, um, was Stevens. He tried to feed it out, but uh, wrapped up very, very quickly. There is 
Ossel Brook, who hands the ball back to the umpire, will have a ball up right on, almost right on the half forward flank here for Thompson. So ball goes in the air. Cam was uh, up against McKinnon. McKinnon brought that one down. Billy Andrew almost dumped on ceremoniously there. May have got a free kick, but no, umpire says we'll have another go at this. So it'll be Cam versus McKinnon again. McKinnon again wins that one down. Nice and easy. McIntyre, good hands out the back here. Falls into the arms of uh, McKinnon. Good work on the left foot, looking for Mulville out wide. He gets the ball, running away from Sheedy. Great little handball through. Oh, they've got it, Soby. He uh, probably tried to do a bit too much of the big man, but finally gets it to Beardsall, who goes out to Mulville again on that trusty left foot. Looking long down and finding. He's a stay in play. Is Hoff. So, no. Line spot. Umpire says it's going to be hands on the full. It was almost in the, the preschool over there. So, uh, Thompson, a chance to relieve here. Coming out wide, Maguire takes the mark in the goal. So he's called play on, not 15. Hamill's over to Cam, goes back to Maguire, messing around with a bit here on the left foot oh. and have turned it over. So, Ross Simons, who was at full back a minute ago, is now uh, having a shot for goal. So, Red's brother. <laughs> Red's brother. <laughs> uh, Simons for East Geelong. Be kicking from about 35 out. You know, probably worse than a 45 degree angle. Coming in very deliberately, looking for Geelong's third goal. He's pushed it across, won't even score. So over wow. the back, that's a fantastic grab over the back there. So we'll see the ball relieved for Thompson again. They don't mess around with it like last time, Grub. Yeah, well, I uh, don't think they will this time. Not with Lindsay that close. You'd be yeah. mellow on it. <laughs> so, ball brought back in outside the 50. A lot of East Geelong players there. Ball brought the ground. McIntyre on the left. Nice little kick over the top. Oh, look at this on their own everywhere here. And, uh, Missed it. They've missed it right in front. Who's kicked that one? Was that Lowndes. Hey? Lowndes, I reckon. Lowndes, I reckon it was. It was one to point to Lowndes. So, uh, each long move on a 2 2 14 leading Thompson. One solitary behind. We've gone 20 minutes, first quarter. Wrong. 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 What? We've gone one minute 11. Oh. <laughs> What's that coming down? <laughs> That's no, going down, mate. Down. That's going down, buddy. How can you do that with no time? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Well, we've gone 20, 20 minutes. Well, there hasn't been a lot of goal scores, so they're probably right. Yeah. We might hear Lynch's th- quarters on express. It might be very explicit again. So, mm. Maguire from the full-back position decides to go long and out wide in front. Mark will be taken by Mullet. Puts himself in front. Took that nicely. <laughs> Needs to get the ball moving. This seems to be slow. East along with numbers back behind the ball now. Actually, there's been a free kick now. Not too sure what that was for, but Seligen has it. He goes short. Kick was okay. So, again, East Geelong so, uh, just <laughs> defending backwards, uh, going slowly now. Our Good back save. to Mullet on set of wing. Good <laughs> save, mate. Thanks, mate. There goes Mullet's now. They're chipping the ball around. I don't know whether the uh, sign's gone up just to hold things up, but they need to attack. They haven't got a score, good score on the board yet. Again, they go back to Mullet. No, it's not Mullet out there this time. That might be McLeish. He goes short and up over the top. Goes to Donahue. That was okay. Now he takes off. Now they can go quickly into the half forward line. Better kick. Mark is taken out there. Hennessy again looking to move the ball forward. They go long into the pocket. Out in front. Smets can't get clean possession or take the ball in his hands. Pushes his teammate over the boundary line. Umpire says Too high. taken high. Free kick going to East Geelong in the back pocket. It's Dixon, mate. Yeah, Jack Dixon it is. Playing on Billy Smith's down there. Where's he come from? Is he a... Don't know. Not too short. No. Dixon goes back out long. It's a good spoil from behind. Ball runs back towards low. He sees the ball over the boundary line as Major come high. in. No, he's been taken high. high. Yep. yep. Free kick goes to Sam Lowe. So right on defensive 50. Chips the ball back inside. McIntyre in space. Delivers the ball out wide. This time he's a bit Being too wide. wide. Right. Yep. And Miss Bids will buy a fair margin. And a free kick will go to Cam. This is Jordan Cam. So he goes quickly back into their forward line. Goes back towards Sam Lowe. He takes the mark. Good interception mark. And he transfers play across the ground. Goes out wide. Player out there by himself with McDonald. He's uh, decided to hold things up again. Asked to play on now by the umpire. Goes short along the boundary line. Monaghan. Nice and easy now from the half back line. Pointing straight down the line. Going towards Sobey. He places himself in front. Ball spoil from behind. Goes back towards the boundary line. We'll run over and we will have a ball in. We have gone almost 23 minutes in the first quarter. Thompson 0 1 behind. East Geelong 2 goals 2. Almost pushed the whole pack over then, Sobey, when he came to there. <laughs> so. Big man. Ball thrown in now. Soby and Jordan Cam going for it right in front of the concrete. Cam wins that one down. Well, but only as far as McIntyre. Hands and knees. Gets the handball up. Hand, plant, plant. Intercepts. Gets the handball through. Wrapped up now straight away is uh, 
Jackson Sheedy. The umpire comes and says, uh, I'll have it. And we'll ball the ball up between centre wing and the half forward line for Thompson. Oh, Troopy's giving away a free kick for something. And he then pushed the bloke a little bit high. Okay. And who was it? Well, hey. Barely Mars, because he's got the free kick. Yeah, that's who's got the ball in his hands. I'm guessing that's who had it. So Mars that's who goes... I was asking. Who oh, was sorry. it? Mars goes backwards and finds... Zipovic, who chips the ball across again now. Oh, it's not a great kick over the back here. Leading in the race is uh, Callum Stevens for Thompson. Picks it up, picks it up. Handballs the ball over the over the top, but it's cut up by East Geelong. Far side, centre no wing. No prior. No prior. Umpire says, I will ball it up. So, what are we going? 24 minutes now in this Morris Finance first quarter. He's still going at him, little Mars. You want to be careful. His true will dong him soon. He's got a bad temper. <laughs> Maguire breaks through. Gets a kick away. Deem not 15. And stacks on the mill again. We'll have another ball up. Thompson have advanced at about 15 or 20 metres. All up after the last run, ruck contest. So He did that to Nathan Johnson. Nathan Johnson got four weeks for it. <laughs> Sobey wins that one down. Standing in the way is uh, is Kerslake. He tries to break a tackle. Does so over to Plant. Plant hands balls across to Maguire. Maguire goes over the top again. Quick little handball chopped off there by East Geelong. Maybe a free kick for a hold without the ball, and that's what's been paid. So East Geelong, I think I'll start right there. Anyway, they grub now. Yeah, I, I mean think apparently so. the clock stopped. So uh, well, they're going backwards. I think it was the seconds clock because they they don't call time on the clock. No, well fair enough too. Ball goes forward. East Geelong picked up by Kelly, who drives the ball back to whence it came. Out in front of Sobey, we get a, as we do with our, uh, our ball, a nice little bounce, bounces out of bounds. And have they paid deliberate here? No, I the full, I reckon. Oh, I'm not in at the full, I thought they paid deliberate. Anyway, the ball's been brought back in now. Just inside East Geelong's defensive 50. Long down the line. Players are gathering out there. Well, there might be a little shove out there by McKinnon. No, the umpire didn't see it. Let it go. Falls over the back. Goes to Donahue. Donahue handballs the ball across into um, to Mitchell. Mitchell goes long into the forward line. And uh, can't pick it up. But uh, picked up by East Long now. They'll have a chance of running it again. Out we come out wide here to uh, Bailey Payne. It's the first time we've called him for the day. Looks so. like Bailey Kale. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey Payne goes long. Not a great kick. Seligen's in the way. Takes a grab. Plays on straight away. Nice little chip. Didn't quite make there again. What a fantastic grab that was by uh, Bartel for East Geelong. So, Ryan Bartel now. True centre-half back. Swings on the left foot. Goes out wide. Nice kick. That beard's all out there wide. Chips the ball over the top now. Looking for, uh, but not finding, Sam Lowe. Ball's out of bounds on the full, I believe. They're going to have to fix that clock. No one's got any idea out there what time's left? Well, it's 26 minutes ticked over now. So but they don't know that. We do. We do. <laughs> it turned over all over straight away there, Thompson. Beards will take some mark. Defensive 50. Well, you said, do they slow it down? Well, I don't know now because they don't know. <laughs> it could be five minutes left. Don't the co coaches hold up signs anyway? No, not here anymore. No. Not here, no. Anyway, Beards will chips the ball across to McDonald. McDonald comes out wider looking for and finding Hoff. Hoff now. With, oh, sorry, it's Dixon, sorry. Uh, Dixon with a bit of time. Chips the ball back across inside. Playing around with it now, mate. So it uh, looks like Josipovic has gone out wider again still. So each long to try on the footy across their back line, but then one bad kick, Darcy Troop comes across and nearly spills what he should have taken, but holds it in the end. Troop looking for his options going forward. Not a lot of movement down there. He decides to go out wide looking for Boyd. Boyd in the contest. Ball's knocked down. He said fight starts down the middle. Stacks on the mill. Not a full on. The ball's gone out of bounds. We'll have Benjamin throwing about 25 metres round from the Thompson goal. We've got Jordan Cam and, and Sobey's there as well. So Cam and Sobey ruck again. Cam wins that one down quite decisively, but no one home for, uh, for Thompson. McGuire, uh, sorry, um, McIntyre left foot goes long, but only far enough to find Stephen Seligen for Thompson, who will drive them forward again. In short, he goes... Finds Donahue swings around very, very quickly. Looking for, but not finding in. That could be a free kick from the back. Umpire said no, let it go. Comes out the back. It's a great tackle there. Finds uh, finds Hennessy, though. He's on the left foot. Nice little kick. Is that, uh, that's not Cam. It's Billy Smiths again. Wrapped up immediately by his was opponent. It? Was Billy it? Smiths. It was, yes, mate. Yeah, I reckon it was two steps then wrapped up. And to me, that's prior opportunity. That's a free kick. Well, he's, hob he's, he's hobbled a bit, mate. So yeah. uh, out of the tackle. That could, that could be the payoff. Anyway, ball comes in, hits the ground. Probably dragged in a bit there, but Jackson Sheedy throws it on the right foot in front. Thompson, here we go. Is that uh, Boyd, it looks like, is it? Yep, big fella. He's a big first game in today, too. So, 
Boyd for Thompson. What have we gone? We've gone 28 minutes in this Morris Finance first quarter here at Thompson Rec Reserve. So Lucas Boyd coming in. Right on the siren has put it through for Thompson's first goal for the day. Thompson at quarter time, 117. Trailing East Geelong, who 2214. Dale, goal kickers. Okay, uh, well, for easy. the Thompson side, yes. Uh, the last goal kicker, Lucas Boyd, right on the siren, gets his first and Thompson's first. And for the East Geelong side, Zimmer and Mulville, uh, Oscar Mulville has got the one each. And that's uh, quarter time. As we said, we'll take a short break, come back, and Grubby will go through everything that happened here during the first quarter. You're listening to 94.7 The Pulse, your home of local football. If you use public transport, you've probably already done. And welcome back to Thompson Rec Reserve. Sees the wayside East Geelong at 2214, leading Thompson at 117. Before we go to your wrap up grub, other scores Cryo 5232, leading Belmont 4327. In Belize 6137, leading Bell Post Hill 2113. Apparently, any first three goals, but there must be no internet down there at um, Osborne Park because the scores aren't up. And Werribee 2 1. 13, leading Geelong West Giants, two goals straight. And, of course, the Winch-Bannock-Burn game tonight. Grub, thoughts? Well, you know what I'm like. Every time I get the opportunity, I spruik GDFL football, and it's going to be this and it's going to be that. 
But gee, that was a disappointing quarter. I've got to admit, I've got to say truth when the truth's got to be said. It was a ter it was a terrific quarter. If, if you weren't watching it. <laughs> Only to listen to you blokes do a great job. And I can't say much. Yeah, there was blokes kicking the ball to oppositions. They were tapping it to wrong blokes. They, they come out of defence and put it down the throat of a bloke as a shot for goal. It wasn't a good quarter of footy. And, but I know these two sides. And it will improve. Gee, I hope it does. Because it's, it's not a great quarter. You know, one one seven to two two fourteen. That normally doesn't matter. You can have a really good game of footy, and and be low scoring. But there was just so many, so many mistakes, and blokes just making just just too many of them. I, I, I tried to go through some good players. Gee, it's hard to get a player that played a, a real good first quarter. I think Lucas Boyd didn't do much early, but looked dangerous and then kicked a the goal. Well, Charlie Donahue had a fair bit of the footy, which he always does, but wasn't didn't really hurt the opposition too much in that quarter. Uh, Tommy Major, I thought, jumped in early and did some, but then disappeared a little bit. And probably the bloke that keeps going and going and going is Stephen Salajam. When the ball comes to him, he marks it. And a couple of his kicks went to his own players. So I, I put him above a lot of them just for doing that. Sammy Lowe was good early. Uh, Harris Monaghan got a few in, few um, good hard balls in, in the pack and Is got it out. Phone? Yeah, put it on silent. Yeah, no, shut up. Uh, Lockie Zimmer kicked a nice goal. Uh, Freddie Flintoff, he looked like he might be all right. <laughs> and you know, uh, Johnny McIntyre got a bit too, but even he didn't dispose of it well that well as well. So, look, hopefully they've come out and they play a better quarter this quarter. I think both sides are much much better than this. And I think what you'll see in the, in the second quarter, hopefully, is something very, very different to that disappointing first quarter. Barwon heads 13, lead Newcomb 7. <coughs> Newcomb, New, Newcomb, no goals, 7 behinds. Whoa. Drysdale 19, Anglesey 18, Geelong Amateur 21, Port 6. Torquay 15, Ocean Grove 7, no score from Mottawari. And Queenscliff Bell Park 20, Colac 2, South Barn 22, Grovedale 7, Leopold 14, Geelong West Giants 12, St Mary's 18, Newtown and Chewell, one goal. North Shore, one goal straight, six. Lara, one goal, three, nine. That's good, boss. So that is the... Uh, Watching on the telly. That is the wrap-up. Oh, so the live stream's up and about. We had yeah. a bit of trouble with it early, so... No, it's going. Dan Lennon, the boss, he's watching it and enjoying the commentary, except for mine. He don't like me much. Well, I don't know why. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it's not a small fan club, that one. So, uh, anyway, players are... Uh, g'day, Humper. Players are... Um, Disappearing off the, uh, oh, sorry, the spectators disappearing off the oval. Dale, we're about to get stuck into the, the players. The Buckley, well, they might as well have. Who's going to play? The spectators. Anyway, I said I said the players first, and I changed the spectators. Um, Grub, well, if you had listened. Well, you drink your own bath water. You'd be good enough to get out there still, wouldn't you? No. So Stokey told me you drink your own bath water. I would not be good enough to get anywhere near this anymore. Dale, over to you, my friend. Right, on, mate, we're just waiting. Umpires just still waiting for someone to give a nod there of some description. He's pointing down the far end of the ground. I'm not too sure what he's. Oh, yeah, he'll no, just jump in the fence. It might be Ko over there in his fishing shorts. Look like he's come straight out of a fishing boat with those shorts on, Ko. <laughs> Probably has. Teach him never got more rich. Raises the ball. We're about to get the second quarter underway. Thrown in the air. Sabi does the right bit, but Cam up over the top. Ball comes into the middle. Also Brooks over the top of the ball. Needs to get it out. Held it up. Umpire said. He didn't have a prior opportunity there. So it comes back to the umpire. Pretty same, same position as it was before. Sobey knocks the ball out this time. Goes out towards Stevens. Little kick goes forward to Major. And he takes the mark. So he's looking to move the ball. I would think a little bit more quickly than they did in the first. Goes long into their forward line. Out and over the top of Troop. First one there was low. Couldn't pick it up. Troop went back and collected it. Got the handball away. Not too sure whether he was looking for his teammates there, but it's, uh, picked up and cleared away there by Beardsall. Beardsall on the left boot. Goes back towards centre wing. Up over the top. Lee didn't take the mark. Out the back with Red nicely there and kicked forward and high by Stephen. Went up as high as it went long. Cam can't take the mark at ground level. Trying to push through the contest. He's uh, our sticky tape man in McNamara. Sticky tape man. Yeah, well, he's got no, that's what he's got on his back, isn't it? <laughs> Pliable stuff. <laughs> uh, umpire again in quickly. Ruckman go at it once again. So big ball down to McIntyre. Kick smothered off the boot. Thompson work hard at ground level. Umpire says high tackle, free kick going that way. Zach Plant to emerge with the ball. So they move the ball a little bit quicker this time. Oh, he's uh, fallen over. Himself. Mark out there is taken there by Boyd. And he can go back and shoot for goal number two within a couple of minutes, actually. Well, yes. So we can tell by the time clock, too, now. Yes. Up and running. That's better. 
Who was that that fell over, Smitty? Um, uh, Joseph Pollock. Was it? Yeah. Yep. So the ball now with Lucas Boyd. Kicks that goal. Umpire oh, didn't move that quickly across, but uh, indicates that it's gone through for a minor score. The first of the second quarter. 1-2 to Thompson. 2-2 two, two East Geelong. We have gone almost two minutes. Buckley's Entertainment Centre. Second quarter scoreboard. All right. Ball to be brought back in now by Beardsall for East Geelong. Drives it outside, defensive 50, looking forward, not finding, but lands on the chest of Maguire. Here we go again, uh, Grub. Yep, here we go again. Come on, you blokes. Drab Maguire drives Thompson back in, looking in the direction of Boyd. Boyd puts the big arms up, ball comes down to ground, Troop swings around on the right foot, and I'll tell you oh, what, it's it's bounced, the, bounced the wrong way. So, one three nine to Thompson now, two two fourteen East Geelong. You've gone just over two minutes. We've had it forward in this quarter more than the first, so that's a bonus. <laughs> Scoreboard's marginally behind. They've got the time fixed, but not the score. Beards will bring the ball back in. That's a little bit better. Finds McIntyre. Yeah, yeah. McIntyre in the, front the, of the scoreboard. The next kick's what matters. Well, he's just gone back across and found Beards all in then space. Then the next one does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it. He's got Sobe who's pushed back out here, and that's where he goes. So that's a great that's kick by Beardsall. Way. So Sobe takes the mark. Looking for options around... Someone should get, should get the handball off the big fella, but no, they've backed him to kick it, and then kick it he does. Comes down here looking for, for Lee. Ball brought to ground. Lee still trying. Second, third effort. Knocked out there by McDonald. Picked up here by uh, also Brook. Throws on the ball on the, quickly. Uh, got a fight on her hands between Marvel and, uh, and Seligen. Seligen nearly wins it, but loses the ball at the crucial time. Maguire comes in now. Tap the ball on the ground. Done really, really well there. And the umpire said, no, you've uh, had prior opportunity. That is dropping the ball. Tough. Only one making the play. So What's sometimes that got to do with it? Sometimes that's the uh, the way the rule goes. So Keller Blounds. No, the rule's got to be done how the rule is. Okay. Prior opportunity. Did you see some prior opportunity? No. I'm buggered if I did. Yes. And they've got to get this decision right because it's the decision that helps help, hurts most in the game. So Lowndes comes in, has a shot for goal, and it's a goal. has kicked a goal. As you said, Grub, that could be, you know, it could be a telling factor into the, the game anyway. East Geelong move on to 3-2-20, leading Thompson 1-3-9. We've gone four minutes. Buckley's Entertainment, second quarter scoreboard. Look, I, look I'm not going to go on with it and carry on like an idiot like I did like last, last week. week. Look, well, I did, but and I'm not going to get involved in it. But that's the one that happens most in the game. And if there's prior opportunity, which was down there before, and they didn't give it. But there was none there, and they kicked a goal from it. Now, by the way, my boss just texts me, he reckons I'm bringing the others down. He thinks I'm still at work. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, love it. Love it. Back in the middle, we are again. Ruckman, who go at it once more. Cam and Sobey. Sobey actually ran underneath the ball, went back and tried to collect it. Did so now, got the handball out. Didn't uh, didn't pick the ball up. Picked up there by Sheedy, and it goes into the half-forward line. Coming across, picked up there. Actually, is trying to work the ball forward. Uh, that was through Payne. Thompson now with some numbers around the contest. Ball comes out. Cam tries to fight his way out. McIntyre was clean with his hands. Ball comes out the back into the hands of McLaughlin who goes short. We'll find Bartell outside defensive 50. Shorter options along the boundary line, but he's going to look to go a little bit longer, I would think. Seligan's positioned himself very nicely down the line, so he goes in short. McIntyre takes the ball. So Bartell to McIntyre. McIntyre not too sure where he wants to go to. He's going to come to our side of the ground, which is good. Out looking for Lee. Mark not taken. Ball is spoiled over the boundary line and it will be a throw in. Actually, it was McKinnon that was actually went for the mark there. Smithy, you said in the ruck that Sobey ran under the ball. Do you know why? Because he was, he was watching the player. You have to watch the football. He was watching the player and not the footy. So again, Ruckman contest. In front, ball comes out the back this time. Picked up Maguire, couldn't get a clean hand on it. Goes into the hands there of um, Lowndes. Kick into their half-forward line. Goes deeper, picked up this time by Lee. By on the body he goes, brings it back. And right bounce. And he has been successful. So Tim Lee gets his first. And the fourth now for East Geelong. They move to 4-2. Thompson are 1-3. Six minutes gone. Buckley's Entertainment Centre, second quarter scoreboard. And that's the better football that we wanted. It come from a boundary throw in, and they opened up their forward line. Left it for, for Lee. I'm, is he a new bloke? I, I don't no, know. Tim no, Lee no, played, no, played last year. I think he had a lot of injury last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember him playing that many games, but that they've given him plenty of room, and they've given it wasn't to the chest or anything, but they give him great opportunity, and he was good enough to swing around and kick a goal. Oh. And that's what it means. Open up the play. And now Thompson 
Melbourne. I've got to open up their forward line the same way East just did. Rooney got knocked out in the game we called last year. Anyway, uh, ball goes in the middle. Sobey wins that one down. Not uh, not far as far as uh, oh, hang on, got an injury here. Uh, ankle done for Mitchell. But ball comes out towards Sheedy. Sheedy breaks one tackle, handballs across the Seligen, goes around one to the other, and he's wrapped up from behind. The umpire will call that one. Pro opportunity was there, Grub. So we have. I didn't see it. I was watching the. Hoff takes the result yeah. in free kick. So, backs himself here. Be kicking from just outside 50. Maybe there's a lack of talk grub in some yeah. of those. Mate, I just didn't. So I was watching the trainer trying to get out to the ball with a crook ankle. Yep, so. It doesn't look good. So Hoff comes in now. Oh, that's <laughs> good a good piece kick, of it. Got a really good piece oh, of it. Touched, touched on the line. So, rush through for a minor score. East Geelong move to 4 3, 27, leading Thompson 1 3 9. We've gone just over seven minutes. Buckley's Entertainment Centre, second quarter. I don't know if you see this kid again. No, it didn't look it good, did it? It doesn't look good. It looks like a bad was, ankle. That was Logan Mitchell, one of the new players, too. The ball's chipped in. Mark is taken here by Callum Stevens. Stevens did have Finn Kerr out here on his own, but that's been closed down now. And he's come out this way. Ball's been smothered. Great smother there. Ball's fall back to Simon as it was with the smother. Maguire just punts the ball out of the air. Car in front, but Bartel takes the mark for East Geelong. Looking to drive East Geelong back into their forward 50. Okay. Has, has short options. Been told to move it on now, so just goes long, hoping for. you got Maguire there at the back. Ball brought to ground. Unrealistic attempt. There you go. See, the umpire was shouting at the player with the ball. Play on. He don't have to move. No. It's the bloke on the mark, he should yeah. be telling. Yeah, the bloke can stand there and do what he likes. <laughs> Maguire with the result and free kick now. So... Ball comes out, chips it oh. out wide, and he's gone <laughs> wide. <laughs> Too wide. It's gone over the head of uh, Darcy Kelly and over the line. Hoff brings the ball back in now and back oh, to Seligen, who uh, just double fists the ball through from 25 metres. Takes East Geelong to 4 4, 28, leading Thompson 1 3 9. We've gone eight and a half minutes. Buckley's Entertainment, second quarter scoreboard. Was that touched off the boot? I can't see out of my vision. No. No. No, no, he should have marked it, should he? He should have, yes, yes. So. He's got good hands. He yeah. has, and long arms. So, Zach Plant, hands on the ground. Zach Plant takes the ball, chips it out wide. This time found Kelly, but Tim Lee done well to close the space down, but has given away to free kick. Advantage paid, no. Oh, he's, been, he's down, so... Uh, umpire said bring it back, so he must have got him in the head. He hasn't got back up too quickly here, uh, Kelly. They're just, just a tiny, tiny little bit. They're a tiny little bit rattled, Thompson, at the moment. Mm. Glenny Myers, number one, sprinting to the, uh, the players' aid. You wouldn't be, well, want to be hurt with Glenny Myers running out here, would you? <laughs> so, players just been stopped here for a second while well, uh, people attend to uh, Darcy Kelly. You're better off flea running out here with a hamburger. <laughs> Did you have a hamburger? That'd get me up. Oh, flea's hamburgers, they are the best in the world. That was magnificent. Good on you, flea. He doesn't look overly great here, does he? No. A bit of claret come from the side, is there? Well, if there is, there possibly should be a blood rule, which means we'll have to wait a bit longer till the other player oh, comes off. very groggy. You can't bring him off there, though. Well, well, if he does, he's gone for the game. Yeah, you've got to bring him up to the interchange. It's probably the one rule I don't like. If there's someone's like this, you get him off the ground straight away and you can bring him back on. Well, he's going to, so they must have brought it in. Because in the old rules, he cannot come back now. Anyway, Zach Plant's got the, uh, the resultant free kick out of all this. Looking at his options down the line. Comes along looking for Cam. Cam flies high at the front and Good takes mark. a fantastic grab. Front of the pack there. Jordan Cam looking long down the line again here. In front again, that's, uh, that's Boyd again. What a fan. Another good grab there. So Boyd waiting for people to flood down the forward line. Hasn't been a lot of movement so far. Oh, he's been called to play on. And oh, my ball. That's blokes, one. Jack Beards has come bolting off the boundary line, wrapped him up straight away. So Beards with a resultant free kick for uh, East Geelong. On the half-back line here. Comes in short. It's uh, got there, but uh, Billy Andrews spills where he should have, been, should have taken, but good enough to get the handball out. Maguire grabs the ball, wrapped up straight away by Monaghan. Handball out. Billy Smed's come through. Handball out looking for, but uh, not finding McLeish. Fighting hard here, but the ball has been knocked now. Out of bounds right in front of the uh, Thompson coach's box. So we'll have a boundary line throw in. We've gone just over 11 minutes on the uh, Buckley's Entertainment second quarter scoreboard. That was young Darcy Kelly, was it? Yeah, yeah. So, ball thrown in now. Cam wins that one down. 
But Shark Boy, long wrapped up straight away. The umpire says, We're not going to mess around. We're going to ball the ball straight back up and see if we can clear the play open a bit. So, good umpiring. But Cam reaches over the top looking for plant. Ball eludes plant. Free kick has been paid to him, though. They did bend the ball through Hennessy, but. Uh, Plant's got it. Played on now on the left foot. Kicking down towards Troop. Might have too much on it. Did have, but the mark has been spilt. Fighting hard. Picking the ball up there was uh, was Flintoff. Was your mate Freddie. Goes out wide for Beards. Well, Beards has got plenty of space and plenty of pace too. Comes along down the line again looking for Hoff. That's a fantastic effort, but the ball spills free. Picked up by Osso Brook. Over the back here. Here we go. The, the halfback, the halfback. But they're missing with their handballs here, Thompson. Maguire just takes his time. Says, uh, I'll steady things up. You're in trouble Go here, on. young Charlie. Go you on. One too many step. Also, what picks the ball up, fires and back, each along back in the other way. It's a fantastic kick just over the head of Mulville. Running back now, the flight. Mulville ends up with the ball in hand. It goes back to Hoff. Hoff on the right foot, snaps around the corner. No. Through for a minor score. So, 4 5 29 to uh, the East Geelong side. 1 3 9 to Thompson. We've gone 12 and a half minutes. Buckley's Entertainment, second quarter. Trav Maguire is now going back to do some kicking in. I have got a message too. Yep. For Archie and Amelia. Yep. Nick off. Fair enough. <laughs> he can't say nothing back. He wants to too, I beg you, little Archie. <laughs> so Maguire now plays on from the fullback position. Goes straight down the ground. Salagen's got to be the option. The only one up in the air. Doesn't take the mark. Ball hits the ground. Picked up there. Lounds. Campbell didn't get it away cleanly. Umpire said it was dropping the ball. Free kick go to Schmitz. So Billy Smith's now half back line. He goes quickly, goes looking towards Boyd, positions himself nicely, front of the contest. Red nicely comes back into the hands now of Stevens. Little chip kick. Wow, well, Donna with that travel of distance. Donna, you didn't, didn't. Uh, you know, it was picked up and now put down, but Lowndes wins the free kick. Looks to go forward. His kick's also poor. He's on the left. And they might be doing a bit of ball work this week. Don't worry about the drills and there you go about it. Just kick and kick it back straight to your teammate. <laughs> Same colour jumper. The ball from Salajan goes inside. Mark is taken this time by Plant. Decides to go short and across the ground. OK at this stage. Picked up out there. McNamara goes sideways further. And the uh, Kerr's like He takes it. There's the fourth one. And they've oh. turned it over. Ball's in the hands of Osselbrook now. He goes back inside 50. Kick wasn't great, but it was made good there by Huff. Uh, I thought he had enough of it, but the umpire said to play on. Andrews was there. Ooh. He's been taken home by his teammate. Home ball teammate. comes out the back. And again, a ground level tackle has been laid. Umpire in quickly. Ball back to the umpire and right on the down. point of the square. He is down. Mm. <clears throat> I didn't see who it was. His own mate. No, I didn't see who got tackled. I think it was Billy. Billy Andrews. Billy Andrew. uh, that's, that's him down. Yeah, he ran yeah. into the bum of his teammate. Or yeah. the hip at least. Mm. This, I tell you what, I hope it's not the case, but this uh, new concussion will really be out for three weeks. It is three weeks. 21 days and you cannot play. So he looks a bit groggy, which means who does the, the test when they get in there? Have we got proper medical people to do that test here at this level? Well, you wouldn't, if you haven't got a me, you'd have to get a proper certification from a doctor, wouldn't you? You would think so, but it would have to be done by someone. I mean, you can't just let it go and let him play no. next week. It has to be done officially somewhere. But he is a bit groggy. He will have a test at some point. But as I say, it was the own teammate, so there'll be nothing to look at for the tribunal or anything. It was his own man. So the ball now thrown up by the umpire. Play goes on. Ball out of the contest. Picked up out and clicked uh, directly back into their forward line. Mowat in best position. He takes the mark in defence for the Thompson side. So now he's uh, looking to go across the ground. Kick was OK. Kerr's like in some space by himself. Further afield, another good kick. Goes to Sheedy. So they've worked the ball outside 50 again. The next kick's always been the good one. The one after that's always turned the ball over. This time Sheedy goes in short and will find Zach Plant. That's OK. Well, he's a good user, so maybe we'll get a result out of this one. Goes long and out wide. Got teammates out there. Interception has been uh, put on there. Monaghan at ground level. Picked the ball up. He's tackled. Brought to ground. Umpire says, give it back to me. We'll have a ball up, which will take place. Centre wing, far side of the ground. He is a good user, Smithy. But when the players aren't running... It's so hard. He's kicking it to a bloke standing still when the opposition get a chance to come over. They've got to be moving for him. So Ruckman at it this time. Lee gets the ball down. Actually, it's uh, McKinnon, sorry, getting the ball down. Plant picked it up. He was ball was smothered off the boot. Goes back over the boundary line. Another throw in a similar position to where that last one happened. <coughs> Connor McKinnon doing some ruck work. Cut out work for Sobey, but uh, Jordan Cam has been OK for the Thompson yeah, side. Good. Ball to the front of the contest. Picking the ball up and was tackled very quickly was Major. Do it all again, Dale. Yes, pretty much spider. Same position on the ground there. 
Both Ruckman then Wall comes out, picked up by Major again, goes into the half forward line, and the mark is being taken out there by Troops. Wings and goes, and goes to go long. Kick wasn't that great off the boot. Will it get a favourable bounce? Hits the ground. Up high is called play Free on. Well, it's be, his board has kicked it. Is he going to play advantage?